Welcome to Girl Talk. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a great show ahead for you. We are at the Great Dane in the Hildale Shopping Center, and we're going to be chatting with them about some new beers that they have. Mm -hmm. So super excited about that. But you're probably wondering, we have a special guest to start the show today. This is Michelle Heitzinger. Thank you so much for being with us. You're Thank with you Susan G. Komen, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And you guys have a really important event coming up. It's coming up on May 20th, Race for the Cure, and you guys, this is a new date and a new location. Yes. Is that right? Yes. It's okay. our 20th anniversary race. Oh, awesome. And yes. <laughs> I know, 20 years here. Um, it's funny, when we look back uh, 20 years ago, there were three major races in this city. Yeah. It was Crazy Legs, Sit and Demai, and our race mm -hmm. was the third big one. And then the marathon started a couple years later. There are three a weekend now, sometimes three <laughs> yeah, a day true. on a weekend. That's so true. yes, we there's just a whole off. lot more going on. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So come out on May 20 and do ours. <laughs> so that kind of leads me to my next question. Why should people come to this race in particular? Obviously your organization, a really important one in our community. Absolutely. We've got about an $8 million investment just at the university alone. Um, money raised here stays here. So Komen is big, but Komen is local. Yeah. We are the largest breast cancer organization, second only to the U.S. Mm -hmm. government in funding of breast cancer research. But when you come to a local Komen race, you're funding right here in our community. I'm charged with putting the money back in the community here to fund programming and services primarily for uninsured and low resource women. We call them medically unserved. You know, so it's one thing to say, go get a mammogram, yeah. you know, go get things checked out. What if you don't have a regular doctor that you call? You don't have an office that you go to. You call our office and we connect you with the services that you're gonna need for this. And again, it can be as simple as a breast problem, you're, you're concerned about something, you don't think it's cancer, and there's a lot of different warning signs now and that's what's changed as well too. You're not just feeling for a lump anymore. Six of the eight warning signs are visual. So if you are concerned about something, you don't have a medical home, you call us and it's because people have come to Race for the Cure, have given us money, have donated during the course of the year, and that's what we do with it. That's wonderful. So you, take, you reinvest the money locally um, in organizations that are out there helping with women's health overall? Absolutely. So we have to do it at the local level and then to the 25% that we send to Komen headquarters goes directly into research. Over six million of that has come back to fund research being done at our university. Oh, hey. Right. Yes. Oh, right. That's yes. wonderful. It's good to know that it's all in big okay. circle and you know it's coming back around. That's wonderful. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Nice work. <laughs> um, can we talk about some of the advances that have been made in breast cancer research and treatment? Yes. Well just even this organization starting on A Promise Between Two Sisters started at a time when we didn't talk about breast or cancer in public. Um, started by a woman who has no medical background. She was a buyer for Neiman Marcus. Nancy Brinker was an admitted dyslexic. Learning was hard for her, but she made this promise to her sister that she would find the cures for breast cancer. She had no idea how she was going to do that. So she started with this race for the cure concept. What has happened since then to now, they used to give women mastectomies, take the breast, leave a concave scar, and flood you with chemotherapy whether you needed it or not. We now know that you're programmed differently than I'm programmed and you're programmed and you're, what works in your body for medications and treatments aren't gonna work in yours, may work in mine, might kinda work in yours, we now know a whole lot more about the biology of this disease, right. and we know it's not one cancer. Um, a few years ago, our breast cancer researchers at the UW said it, it's a family of cancers, thought it was a couple hundred diagnoses. It's now over a thousand diagnoses for breast cancer. That's why it's so complex and so difficult to get to the cures. And, and let's add in there that it's men too. It's yes, men too. it is. For every 1,000 women diagnosed, a man is diagnosed. Mm -hmm. So it is a man's issue as well. So much to learn, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, Race for the Cure is coming up on May 20th, so be sure to sign up. You can find more information at comanwisconsin.org. Michelle, thanks for being with us. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. And we'll have more Girl Talk coming up right after this.